All right, what's up everybody? It's Big Banks. We're back again for another exploration today. We're walking through these beautiful woods up to this abandoned $12 million mansion. And the little bit that we know about it is I think a Chinese family lived here, but we'll go more into that here in a little bit. But right now we're on a little hike through the woods to get to this stunning 1996 abandoned mansion that has what? eight bedrooms or six bedrooms and eight bathrooms like it's a very massive house we are ready to go inside and check it out i hope you are too so let's get over to it let's check out the outside let's make our way inside and see what is left in this place so we'll see you out there we're emerging out of the woods here and this is what we see this huge abandoned mansion 13 thousand square feet it looks like two mansions honestly because the hallway is just like this big piece in the middle and then you have a whole area for a pool and the whole living space there is bedrooms on this side though too so we're gonna check this place out you can see how overgrown it is yeah chris has been to this place already so shout out to him for bringing us back a look at it it's a lot of glass it's very modern built in the 90s Pretty cool looking spot. Looks like it's just a one story, but it's actually got a half story up here too. And this place is so large. It's crazy that in these super rich neighborhoods, there's these mansions that are just left here and left overgrown. Like how can they get away with this stuff? Normally they have to uh, mow it to keep up with, you know, without getting fined and stuff like that. But with this one, it is all overgrown. You can see the grass right here. See where it is on my feet? Just look at this place. Getting around to this side. Looks pretty crazy. Sun is beaming. Check this spot out though. You can get a really good look. The living room is right through there. See how modern this place is. It's pretty wild looking. So before we go inside, let's do a montage and a whole story of why this place is abandoned when it was built, how many rooms there are, everything. So without further ado, let's get right into this video and let's check out this gorgeous abandoned mansion. This mega mansion was constructed in 1976 with six bedrooms, eight bathrooms with a massive indoor pool. This place seems to have been abandoned around 2010, and it is said that the family last to live here were from China, who had successful businesses around the area. But somehow, they lost it all and had to sell the house. It was then bought by a developer who possibly has plans to demolish the house or remodel. Today, it sits abandoned with many things left behind, and hopefully, this beautiful mansion can be saved and enjoyed again. There's really not much else that we could find out about the family that once lived here, but nonetheless, we are ready to show you what's left. Good afternoon, everyone. Today, we have made it inside of this marvelous, modern, abandoned mansion built in 1996. This place is 13,000 square foot, has six bedrooms, eight bathrooms, and you would think that the size of this pool, we would be in some sort of gym, but this is just the indoor pool of this mansion, and there's so much stuff left inside. The power is on. I believe that they're going to demolish this and just redevelop this whole area because it's on like four acres or something like that. So we're going to explore this place today. I'm with KT Splores and Mr. Kranz somewhere over there, but we have a lot to see in this place and I hope you're ready for a great adventure. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So now that we're inside of the mansion, we're going to go through it. I just did the little intro right here in the indoor pool area. We have a lot to see. And I hope you enjoyed the outdoor views, the drone shots of this place. It's amazing, super modern, and 
we're gonna go through it. Thank you, dude, for bringing me here. Check this out, everyone. My goodness. Who has a pool like this? This is like a pool for Michael Phelps or something. This is massive. And like, why does it have this weird blue like thing inside of it? Along with all this trash. This is a crazy looking place. And look up here. The ceilings are nuts. What'd you find? This is all written in Chinese. What on earth? There's bedrooms, a couple of bedrooms right here, a couple of bedrooms upstairs. And it's mostly a single story place with kind of like a half story uh, above us. So we're gonna start right in here with all the whole thing. This floor is a little bit wonky right here, but check out the size of this pool. My goodness. Big steps to go down. And I'd say it goes to about 10 feet. There's even a chandelier down here. Oh, I imagine they did have a screen. Oh, wow. Oh, so this was a screen? Yeah, yeah, it would come out of the ceiling right there. Holy crap. Oh, I see it. It's like a slot. So there's literally a TV, like a projector that would come down. So while you're in the pool, you can literally watch TV. God, rich people stuff, man. <laughs> this is nuts. Even have some workout equipment down here. So maybe, I don't know. Guys, out of all the mansions I've been inside with indoor pools, this is definitely the biggest one. And this is one of the bigger mansions we've explored. 13,000 square feet is massive. And one thing cool about this place is there's still power. You're gonna see some cool things like the chandelier, uh, the bedrooms, a lot of stuff is left behind. So let's just make our way around this place. Wait, turn, hit that light again? Is this the sauna? Oh, snap. Dude, I bet the sauna still works. Do not exceed 30 minutes in the sauna. So I believe that we're entering our first bedroom here. And look at that. Wow, lights do turn on. And they dim. But check this out. This bed is still made. Closet, still got a TV in here. And here we have the bathroom. Still got some stuff left, but not much. Still got the shower and it's like golden in there. I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but there is like golden knobs and whatnot. And then there's more stuff that's in Chinese right here. So this bedroom, it's hard to tell. Maybe this was just a guest bedroom of some sort. I'm not too sure, but the bed looks very comfy. Yeah, it is super comfy. Come over to another bedroom right here. It's a bit dark in this one, but maybe if we open the closet door, you can see a little bit, but the bed is completely off of the uh, of the mat of like the bed frame. There's still stuff in here. I mean, there's a TV right here. The dressers are still here. This is the closet. Then we have a bathroom over here. Wow. It's pretty nice. Got the light in the shower. Actually, this is a bathtub as well with a jetted tub. You got a toilet that is full of some liquid, so we don't want to mess with this bathroom too much. It's pretty nasty. But I want to give you a really good look at the place, everyone. Looks like some kids have come in here. There's used condoms. 
and whatnot, leave this room and just check it out again, the pool. It's amazing. The ceiling is incredible. Just, wow. <laughs> everyone well we have made it above the pool now so now we can get this over overlook of it right here but guys there is still so much more to see in this place 13,000 square feet and this is the first thing we really see in the place got a big skylight there this house is amazing let's see what's up on this side right here Looks like we have a bedroom and we have a courtyard here. Wow. Check that out, a whole courtyard. But guys, if you want to know what this is right here, I believe this is the master closet. And this is a very huge room. Look at these big doors for your clothes. They're all made of mirrors. Look, there's an ironing board right in there. Looks like the master bathroom right there, so we'll go in there in just a second, but let's take a look at what's over here. More closet space. Just a lot of closet space right here. And a staircase. It's a little spiral staircase. It's pretty nice. Let's go straight in here to the master bathroom. Oh my goodness. What is this? You come down these stairs, it's all carpeted by the way, which is kind of not cool. <laughs> but check out this tub. Oh my gosh. Look at that, and it has the gold accents. How amazing is this? The jetted tub, you can fit probably two people in there, it's pretty large. Probably some plants or something would go in these little slots over on the sides and then we have look at this this is your main sink look at the details that are in it the flowers and the gold and it's like pink too so maybe this was like a hers section we go up more stairs there's a pink shower right here check that out really nice pink shower and it even goes further. Look at this. It's like pink mosaic tiles up there. Here we have a sink. Still again with the gold accents and a toilet and a bidet. So pretty, you know, common in these rich folks homes. It's crazy that the lights are still on, even though they're going to tear down this place. But actually we see that a lot guys. But we come into this room. This is the master bedroom, guys. Just check out the bed. It's still made. It's a pretty grand bed. Sucks that there's like holes in the walls. Maybe there was uh, four of these pieces right here that went on each end of the bed. But check it out. I mean, you can see all the footprints of people that have been in here. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. I think kids have kind of come and done their dealings on it a little bit but it is what it is but check it out this old plush carpet and this is the master bedroom the ceilings are kind of high they have this floor wallpaper throughout but i'm ready to take you guys inside of this which would be another crazy bathroom Look at that, it's literally like a golden swan. <laughs> the lights are on, it has these lights that are in the lips up here as you can see. And then check this out. Double sinks here, pretty large. And these even have like swans on the ends of them on both sides. 
This is just nuts. But I'm thinking that maybe this was, uh, was his side of the shower. And look at this shower. I wanna <laughs> just show you guys this real quick. So it has a room temperature, a steam. You can really set how you want your shower to be done. <laughs> really nice stuff here. We have another toilet in here. But then we get to the man's closet. And look at this, there's actually like, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but there's a design right here in the carpet. And then this would hold his shoes, all of his suits everything like that there's no clothes left behind but check it out there's spider webs you guys always ask where's the cobwebs and stuff there it is right there another thing i noticed in this bathroom is all these doors have super nice designs on them like right here is for the toilet and then you got this side which is the same design But this master bathroom is just something else. You know, guys, I like to mix it up with these modern mansions. You know, I show you guys a lot of older stuff that's been left behind like a long time ago, but sometimes I like to go into these modern ones because it just blows my mind. It's so much wasted. But we're entering another room. I can't really tell what this is, like what room this is, but there's a couch here, like an entertainment section. And there's even like a little stove here. But it goes out to the courtyard. And this would have had like the entertainment. So there would have been a TV here, VCR. Some of that stuff is still left right up there. But then there's this really nice looking couch. Fancy looking. wonder if it's plush. It is very much plush. I'm trying not to rush through the place. I really want to show you guys everything. This is this room. If you guys can tell me what you guys think this room was for, maybe it's just a little chill room, a little hangout room. So we've explored this part, this section. We've explored the master side. Now we need to go here and then to the whole other half of the house where all the other bedrooms are and everything like that. But we still have an area over here, a couple of areas. This is like an overlook for the pool, a little area to chill. It's where the sunlight comes in, get a lot of natural light. And then right through here, the floor is like super pink. You could tell there was a bed laying here where it's like kind of off colored. So maybe this was a little girl's room or something. Used to be a TV here, all the wirings are left. They're either gonna tear it down or they're gonna remodel it. But they've been waiting for a very, very long time and nothing's been done. So it's literally been left to rot and have vandals take over it. But we're gonna keep exploring, see what we can find. We gotta go to this side first. Looks like another bedroom. It's a purple couch. I wonder if there's a TV left in here. I don't see one. Got some cool wallpaper through this room. But trust me guys, there's a lot more left behind. But seeing a purple couch is pretty cool. You don't see purple ones too often. And then we have this closet and bathroom. Kind of similar to the one that's literally next door. Liquid's in the toilet, so it looks like people have been using it. It's very gross. Toilet paper, whole roll of toilet paper is still here though. We got the shoe closet right here. And then we have the closet for the clothing and whatnot. And the lights are automatic in here. So when you open it up. What do you guys think so far of this mansion? I'm like really enjoying it. 
uh, this area has really provided a lot of abandoned mansions. Me and Chris have done other mansions in this area. This is crazy, man. It just keeps giving. This, this one is definitely... This is the best one. Literally one of the best ones. Like, yeah. It, I feel like it can't get any better than this. Yeah, that's for, that's for sure, man. So now that we've seen this side, and I hope I didn't rush anything, but we're going to go through a whole story of this place in depth, everything. But I'm going to take you to the other half of the house now. This is like the biggest half right here just because of the pool and I mean 13,000 square feet personally I couldn't live in, in that much space it's too much to clean you'd have to hire somebody <laughs> to come like, clean your house like somebody would have to live here yeah literally literally be cleaning your house like 24 7 and maybe they did maybe they lived over here yeah, honestly that could be the case but right here you can see all the broken glass from these kids that have come in but it's like what door how did they get all the glass right here? Because there's no windows right here. Even in this area, the same area of the pool, there's literally the seating area. You can literally sit here while the pool is going. Imagine the humidity in this room. Probably very humid. It feels very humid in here right now as we're walking around. You can see kids come in here to smoke weed. There's like white owls everywhere. And I know nobody smokes white owls just to smoke white owls. But check out the stonework all through here. Real stone. Very, very nice. And the woodwork is just blowing my mind. Look, there's even a freaking iPad in the wall. What the heck? <laughs> there's literally an iPad in the wall. But now we're going to enter this half. As you can see, it has the large windows to look outside. The stonework in here. Here's one of the, the mini bathrooms. Check out this vanity that it has. Nice granite tops. Another bathroom that's been used. Nasty. It smells in this one. Might have been recently used, but I want to take a look at how unique this is. Look at the, the knobs. They're like these glass balls. Water doesn't work. But check it out. Remember those uh, Fushigi balls? That's what that looks like. <laughs> and then look at the door. It's like this Aztec looking stuff. It's design. Maybe Native American looking. And it's pink. Long hallway. This is actually just a closet. A little storage closet looks like. And then we get to the very front door of this mansion. This is the two massive front doors and quite amazing to say the least. Look at the handles, how shiny they are. You got the, the stonework throughout this place. You got the little bench that goes across. And look at all this broken glass from these kids. This is why we don't give out locations, guys. This is why if you ask me and I don't respond, this is, this is why, because look at this. Beautiful glass just busted down here. Look at these doors, the sliding door right here. We just came from that side of the house. You can see there's a lot of glass, so a lot of natural light is coming in to this place at all times. I mean, this is the main living room right here. So we'll take a look over here in just a second. But check this out. This is a marvelous chandelier. And it's, it's been busted up. That's super sad, but Check it out at least. That would have been insane. It still is. It's just like barely hanging on now. So I'm wondering what like, this is just like a side entrance, but maybe it's, it's just more elegant. It looks like that chandelier though. And now that we got a lot of stuff left behind over here. Equalizer, tape. I mean, not much, not create anything crazy. Batteries, it looks like. There's a radio for a car. 
So, I mean, there's nothing too crazy left yet right here, but check out the door. This is like a, these sliding doors are very unique with this design. Get a better look at them. And we're gonna walk up here and we're gonna see that there's another iPad in the wall, another touch screen. And this is the main living room. All right guys, so this is the living room and we're gonna do a little walk through this place. But as you can see, this is a massive living room, guys. We have multiple skylights. It looks like four skylights are coming in. The sun is literally blinding me in here. These huge, massive windows, a bar area down here, everything you can imagine a mansion would have. There's iPads in the walls and just so much natural sunlight coming in that you don't even need power in this place, honestly. But yeah, let's, uh, let's continue exploring this half and we'll see what else is left behind in this incredible mansion. You can see it's very large. Look at the wood up there, the skylights coming in, so much natural light. It's kind of crazy how much natural light there is. We got a large couch left behind here, very large couch. More of the stone on that side, so this is like mostly stone, this mansion. We have a whole record player right here. There's more Chinese stuff. We got a rug over here in the corner and all these broken records everywhere. Like, like literally all this is just broken records. You can see them shining like the rainbow colors of them. So some kids are definitely coming in here and beat this up, but there's a bar right there. I didn't just notice that. It's a whole bar in this place. This is just super luxurious. So down here we have all the, all the records. Some of them are literally Chinese, karaoke in Chinese. One thing I've noticed about this general area that we're exploring in is there, there's a lot of uh, Asian people that live here. Um, a lot of very rich Asian people. So it's pretty cool to see a different culture and, and a huge modern mansion like this in America. Uh, I love seeing that stuff. This looks like a den area, honestly. We have the nice white couch here. Probably, they might have had a TV up there, but it doesn't look like it. But honestly, the TV might have been right here. Actually, what it looks like, it looks like it came down. It's like a projector screen. And then we have the bar. Check out the bar, guys. Look at this. So this is where they would have served some drinks, all that good stuff. Look, there's still like full cans of Diet Coke. These look old too. This expired in 1997, that's what it says. It smells like poo, like poop back here, honestly. So it wouldn't surprise me if some kids took dumps in here. Very nasty. And then back this way, maybe another entertainment area for the house. Got this cool chandelier. This might've been a game room too. I can imagine a pool table being right under this light. But look how much glass is here. Just so much glass. It's like mind boggling how, many, how much glass there is. And you can just walk all through this place. Look at that. I am blown away by this mansion. You can see it gets moldy down here. But here is the kitchen and oh, my goodness, look at this. Look at the flooring. Look at all this. I can't believe this is abandoned. Like what on earth? We have a door right here. And then check out the fridge. Nothing left in it, but it does stink. It does stink. Ugh. Skin lotion, but it's in Chinese. It's like crazy all this stuff we're finding in here. 
This is in Chinese too. The Complete American Jewish Cookbook. Never really seen anything like this place. This is like the little pantry area where they put their Tupperware and all that good stuff. And look, here's a BMW 5 Series owner's manual. So they must have had a nice little Beamer. They drove up around this place. But you can see this stove is more modern than this. This is a very old oven, microwave, and stove right here. Older than what's over here. But there's multiple stoves. There's even a stove right there. I mean, this place is loaded. This is one of the coolest kitchens I've seen in an abandoned place. And right next to it is even a little bitty garden, another little courtyard. So there's two courtyards here, and one is like a little garden. All the plants are dead, though. They're getting some, a little bit of sunlight, but not much. The glass is just busted. But I keep walking through the kitchen here. We have this that goes upstairs, so let's check this out. It's actually cold up here, like really cold. Look at this, pool patio, exterior outlet. A lot of light panels. Looks like we have more bedrooms up here. Yeah, check this out. We got a couch here, really nice. And all this furniture looks really Comfortable. And we have a bed. Still has the, the sheets and the comforter on it. It's pink. That's pretty nice. And then we have our own bathroom right here. Not as like fancy as the rest of them though. This one's pretty plain. There's no pillows left. But there's even like a, an oven right here, or like a stove. Do we have a closet here? We do. We have a little closet. This mansion is something else. Definitely is something else. So we're going to go back downstairs and see if we missed anything. I think there's a whole other section back here. Oh yeah, look at this goes downstairs. I wonder what that goes to. Back here we have the washer and dryer room. Washer and dryer still here. Definitely older washer and dryer though. So it hasn't been used in quite a while. There's even more glass throughout here. So we're going to try to find a different way downstairs because that one's just loaded with trash. So we're going to go this way. We're going to try to figure out a way down there so we can uh, see what else is left in this place. But I think I missed a room right here. Oh my. What the heck? These are all deer antlers. Oh my goodness. The fur is still on it. And there's actually yellow roses on the floor. I believe that there's a way downstairs from the pool area, and I think we've seen everything on this side. We're gonna go over there and see what's downstairs. What lies beneath us in this mega mansion here? We have found our way to the basement. We're gonna go down here and check it out. And it's very tiny. What the heck? Oh, this feels weird, bro. Yeah, this is very weird. <laughs> I would think that maybe they controlled a lot of the pool through uh, here. Yeah, I think so. And it just ends right there. It's mostly air conditioning stuff. So. Look, I see pool lights. Oh yeah, pool lights right there. This is probably like, uh, this is a cleaning system for the pool, I believe. Right here. Look at this crawl space. I can only wonder what's back there. 
<laughs> this place is a uh, this place is weird, man. Very unique. All right, everyone, we have explored this entire mansion today. And safe to say, this is one of the best in this area that we have seen. Just look at it, look at the hallway I'm walking down. I hope you guys enjoyed this video just as much as I enjoyed exploring it, guys. Comment down below your favorite part of this mansion. And we're actually gonna go fly the drone now. We're gonna do a little walk through the woods. It's a beautiful day today, the weather's nice. And that's gonna be a wrap on today's mansion. We're gonna go check out some more places on this trip. And like I said, we're back in America and I hope you guys are enjoying the American series again. But we're gonna get out of this place. It's getting hot in here, but it's cooler outside. And thank you to my friends, KT Splores and Mr. Kranz back there having a good time today. If you're new guys, hit that subscribe button, leave a like down below. And again, comment your favorite part of this house. Thank you guys so much for all the support and until next time, Big Banks out.